What is up all you beautiful people? Welcome back. We are today just going to do some uh, final finishing touches to the canopy. So I'm going to start working on my mud flaps. Um, so the idea is to have a bit of rubber come around and then the bottom one will be picked up by some chains which will come back up to the tray. I think they'll look pretty good especially because I've got short mud guards. Um, so we'll see how we go with that today. So what I've done is I've just cut my strip of rubber um, and I've cut it longer than I need because I've got excess. Um, and what I'm doing is I've got these little stainless steel uh, eye straps, things, whatever you want to call them. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rivet them on the rubber. I'm thinking sort of, sort of like that. Um, and the chain's going to be attached to and then I'll put one of these up on the tray somewhere which the other, other bit of the chain will go to. So I'm going to do that now, um, and I'm going to also put a washer on the back to grab the other end of the rivet to sandwich it in, and I'm thinking, yeah, probably an angle like that. So that's where we're at. I just finished riveting on these little eyelets, so that's what they look like. Um, I didn't end up putting a washer on the back just because the head was big enough. I think they look pretty neat. Um, I've also just marked out sort of different heights that I think might look fairly good. I'm just going to clamp it up. Um, I'm just going to attach the chains to and just hold it up and see what it sort of looks like. And we'll go from there. I've just clamped up the mud flap. So, I don't know if I like how this currently is sitting. It's sort of where I want it. I might get this, this back piece a little bit lower. Um, I don't know if I want the chains that far back. I've sort of tried them about here and they don't really look that good there, so I am still a bit indecisive for what I want, but it's sort of, that's the general look I'm going for. Um, I'll have to space out the chains at the back a bit nicer, um, but we are sort of there. I reckon that sort of looks sort of cool. Um, but that's sort of the idea of it. Yeah, I might I might pull the chains apart to sort of that length. All right, so there's been a bit of a change of plans with the mud guards. I drove past the bloke the other day, um, and I've seen a lot more stuff looking around. There's actually people running sort of one chain. Um, so I think I'm just going to go back to one, but yeah, I drove past the bloke the other day and he had like a splitter off it. So he had, so he had like a chain, you know, like a V sort of going like that. And then one from there coming up to his chassis. So I think I'll do that. I just did it before. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I'll play around with the length of that. Um, so there we go. I'll just cut this down to 500 mil, so it's 500 long, um, and it's just the width of my guard. For those of you who are wondering, um, I think I'll make it a bit shorter, but you know, you can cut off material, but you can't put it back. So, got two, yeah, two at 500, I'll get this side right. So I've just shortened the chains and just chucked it on the tray for you guys to see. I'll fix up where it joins to that one, but that's what I meant, sort of by a splitter. Um, I think that looks pretty good. I've just got it tacked on with a magnet at the top. Um, so that's what it, it looks like from the back. So it's 450 from the edge of the guard, the steel bit to the bottom of the rubber. So I've got a 50 mil past, just so I can get a bit of um, fixing on it. I'll give you a look from the side. So. This is what this side looks like. I might get rid of that kick a little bit. Try and get it a bit straighter. Um, yeah, so what I'll end up doing is I'll end up getting one of the same little golden eye strap. Um, and what I'll do is where that is, I'll pop one of these up there, and that's how I'll fix it up there. So pretty simple. Um, the only reason I haven't got it up there yet is because I didn't decide where I wanted it. I don't want to have to drill multiple holes 
want to get it right the first time. Yeah, I'll play around with this a bit more and see how we go here. I'll probably join these two up to one link onto like something here. Um, just because that looks a bit rubbish. Yeah. So you would have just seen me install that eye strap thingo up on the tray frame. So I'll give you a look. That's it there, that's how it's come up. So just some rivets in there. Looks pretty good. I'm liking this sort of uh, divider piece on it. I reckon that looks a lot nicer. But what I don't like is how it dips in. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably a better angle. See how it dips in. I don't like that. I'd rather it sit flat. So what I'm going to do is I've got this scrap aluminium. Just going to cut a piece off at 200 mil long. Undo one of the rivets on both of those straps. So I'll undo the rivet here on this side and the same on the other side. Put it through, rivet it on, and that should stiffen that up. All right, guys. I'll just put on the aluminium strip I was talking about. So, just a strip, drilled the two holes in it. The rivets that I use for these uh, eye straps, I use that to clamp it on. And that, that got rid of that little, little dip in the rubber there. I think that looks really nice. I am not too sure if I like the little kick in it. You know, um, maybe I'll make it a little, put one more link in it. That might be the way to go. Um, now I did say I cut these at 500 long, but I've currently I think got this sitting at 400 from here now, so I'll probably cut off another 50 mil um, and then tack it on. And I will scallop out this because my chassis mount, oops, my chassis mount comes here and sort of back in. So when this gets this guy gets slid in, um, the rubber two will, will hit. I just took off the mud guard off the side we were working on. I just got it clamped up on the sawhorse. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drill out three holes, I think. Um, so I only put three rivets in. Um, and I will definitely, yeah, I'll probably just put the rivet on this side, but I'll definitely probably put a washer on the other side because I want the pan head of the rivet on this side so it looks a lot cleaner. Um, and yeah, just a small washer just to pull the rubber up tight so that the rivet doesn't end up pulling itself back through. So here we go with that. See me uh, rivet that bit of rubber to the mud guard in the most awkwardest way I could possibly do it, um, so you guys could see. So I'll give you a look. So that's it there. 
I'm actually pretty happy with it. I I come up 30 mil from here to the center of these rivets. I wish I come back actually back a little bit just because there's this gap. But that's all right. I can always maybe silicon it or something. Um, but I like how that sits with the one chain and the spreader. And I'm liking how it's sitting that way too. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'll, that'll be, um, that'll be that. So I'll make another one for the other side off camera because I'll do it the exact same way. And that'll be it. My, excuse the dogs. Um, so I just finished up both these mud flaps. Both of these are done on the car. I reckon they look pretty good. So a couple things about these. I'll see if I can't hold this out here. So the reason why they're cut out like this is so you know, I have to push them in and pull them out and they clear the guard. The other thing is, I don't know if you guys have seen, but the chain I'm using, it's not welded. So it's just like the crimped chain. So the idea behind that is I can pull it open with a pair of pliers and get whatever length I want and just add to it and take it off just because I didn't know what size I wanted. All right, guys and girls, um, that's it for this video. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, but before I do, I want to say a big thank you to all you guys uh, for the support. Um, recently just hit 100 subscribers on the channel, which is pretty cool. Um, didn't really think this channel was going to go anywhere, but you guys really seem to like the content that I'm sort of producing. So yeah, really big thanks to that. Um, if you guys want to see yeah, any sort of behind the scenes or stuff that I don't really catch on film, make sure you go have a look at my um, Instagram. I post on there sort of regularly. Other than that, let me guys let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, this is pretty much finished, so still waiting for those lights, um, and hopefully it's on the car very soon. I do need to do after that full trial bolt in this. I've got to build a couple of other things. I'm going to make a twin jerry can holder for the back of it, so I'll record that. Um, I've also got a trip coming up with best mate up in the high country, so maybe I'll record that if you guys want to see the bit touring before driving with the new setup. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.